So congratulations, you just got approved for the bill card and it should be coming in the mail in the next couple of days. And what I wanna do in this video is show you guys how to fully maximize this zero fee annual card without really overcomplicating things. So in this video, let's go over nine things that you should do on day one to really kind of set it and then forget it to really get all that you can out of this card because in my opinion, it is the best zero fee annual card that you can get right now. Let's get into it. So before we really get started, to give you a little bit of background on the built card, the built card kind of carved out its own market share and space in the credit card game as a zero fee annual card that allowed you to pay your rent via the credit card, accumulate points, but not incur a transaction fee because previously, especially if you're paying your rent through a portal, you could technically use any credit card that you wanted if your portal accepted it, but there would be some sort of either flat transaction fee or a percentage fee of like 2.9%. And depending on where you live and how high your rent is, it really wasn't worth it even if you were accumulating maybe one or maybe 1.5x points on every dollar spent via rent. So instep the bill card to allow you to completely waive that fee. And it also gets creative as to how you can pay your rent, which we will touch on in a little bit. And then secondly, what's nice about this is that it's earning built reward points as opposed to cash back, meaning that you can actually transfer out all these built reward points to transfer partners to kind of get some outsized value when you are traveling, whether it is for something like an airline flight or a hotel stay stay and again the bill card at a zero annual fee there are some transfer partners over here that you have not seen before in a zero annual fee card and that's what makes it so special and that's why i really enjoy the bill card and recommend it to anybody that is paying rent so now let's get into the very first thing that you should do. So when you apply for the card, you technically create an account, but make sure to enroll in the Built Rewards program because they are technically separate. Built is a rewards platform that just happens to have a credit card as opposed to a credit card that has a rewards platform. So you technically do not need to have a Built card to be enrolled in the Built Reward program. And a great example is that the Built card that we use technically belongs to my wife. She's the one that signed up for it. This is our two player system and she has her own Built Rewards account, but I also opened up a Built Rewards account as somebody who does not have the built card to take advantage of some of the promos that they have because even if you are not a built member, you can still earn built reward points if you attach other credit cards, if you do some little games that they have on there, and eventually it adds up, and I've even had a free night stay at a Hyatt hotel by just accumulating built points passively with other credit cards. So again, that is the first thing you do. Make sure that you sign up for the built rewards program and also download the application on your phone. So the second thing you should do with the bill card is kind of goes under the radar because technically it's, there's no advertisements for a signup bonus, but we have seen, and a lot of people have confirmed, including ourselves, that you do kind of have a quasi signup bonus, which is basically that you get 5X back on every single dollar spent on any category up to 50,000 points in a five day period after you get your bill card. So definitely take a look at your email, go through your spam because some people say that it landed in their spam. You have a five day window to get 5X points on every dollar spent up to 50,000 points, which means you can spend up to $10,000 if you have a large purchase and then get 5X on that $10,000 purchase. But please make sure that you have received that email before going on and spending because technically, there is no advertised signup bonus, but it is a nice little way to earn some additional points when you first get it. So the third thing you should do is set up your rent payments online. So you're gonna to wanna to go into the bill portal, into the rent section, whether you are on your phone or through Safari or Chrome or something like that, and you're just gonna to wanna to be able to sign up for it. The way that they do it, at least the way that we did it with ours, is that we do pay our rent online, and it does require bank information like a routing and an account number. And what Built does is that they created their own kind of bank system where they do have a routing and an account number, so technically they are pulling out of a bank account. It's not your bank account, it's not related to you, but what happens is that it's tacked onto your credit card like like any other transaction after the fact. So it does go towards your credit limit and things like that. But one nice thing that they added, and again, I definitely recommend always paying off your card in full and on time. But if for some reason, let's say you have a $5,000 credit limit and you're already at 3,000, but your rent is also $3,000 a month, you are still allowed to go over your credit card limit for a rent payment. Not for normal transactions, but for your rent payment, you can go over it and then pay it off after the fact. And just keep in mind that even though it is the first of the month and we're gonna touch on rent day in a second, you're still only accumulating one cent per point. But again, it's one separate point up to 100,000 points per calendar year. But if your rent is below any of that, you will still accumulate one separate point up to 100,000 points in one calendar year. So the fourth thing you should do is get familiar with the spend categories because normally the spend categories are 3x per dollar spent on dining, 2x back on every dollar spent for travel when you're booking directly with the travel. So you have to book directly with the hotel or book directly with the airline and then 1x on every other dollar spent. So just get familiar with that. So it's very easy. There aren't too complicated. There aren't a lot of categories. There's no grocery category and things like that, but just be aware of that. But the fifth thing you have to do is get familiar with rent day promos and how to fully maximize that. So with rent day promos, 
basically what happens here is that everything doubles on the first of the month. So you get 6x back on all dining, you get 4x back on all travel, and then you get 2x back on everything else, which is great to see. But there is a little bit of a caveat here, and this has been updated. You can only max this out up to 1,000 built reward points, meaning that you can only spend about $170 or $180 on dining to be able to take advantage on the 6x back on dining. And then every dollar after that will go back down to that corresponding category. So if you spend, let's say, $700 on miscellaneous things that falls under the all category, you'll get 2x back on the first $500, but then 1x back on the other $200. So do keep that in mind that it maxes out at 1,000 build points at the end of the day. But what's nice about this is that you can actually refill certain cards and refill gift cards and refill applications depending on what you're doing. So what I've seen people do, and I have done this myself a few times, is that on the first of the month, let's say you are somebody that goes to Starbucks every single day, you can refill your Starbucks account with $180 worth of Starbucks credit and still get 1,000 build points because technically it is coded for dining. And this works with Dunkin' Donuts, this works with Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, all these different applications where you can kind of pre-fill your card and then use the reward systems after the fact. So I know a lot of people that do that, or maybe they even set up maybe their utilities to be set on the first of the month, or some miscellaneous transaction where they'd rather earn 2x points as opposed to 1x points. And that's how you really start to maximize the point system of built. So now the sixth thing you should do, and this corresponds with transfer partners, because again, you got the built rewards card because you want to earn travel points and you want to redeem for travel, as opposed to getting a cash back card that's a zero fee card. But with these transfer partners, what's nice about the reward program, again, you don't need to have the credit card to do this, which is how I was able to get a bunch of points very early on as a non-credit card holder in the built reward program, is that is that you're going to want to connect all of your transfer partners. Now this is a little bit tedious if you're trying to maximize it all the way, so you don't have to do this, but you get 100 built points every single time that you connect a transfer partner and I believe there's about 18 different transfer partners now so it's a free 1,800 points that you're able to get which means you're halfway there to a free night at a Hyatt hotel just for setting up all your transfer partners and then again if you don't have let's say an account with something like JetBlue or United just create the account for free and then connect the account after the fact so creating this connection with the transfer partners not only makes it easy when you are actually ready to redeem these points and transfer them out but it also rewards you by giving you 100 extra built reward points every single time that you connect each new account. And now let's get into the nitty gritty. So the seventh thing that you should do is enable all restaurant rewards. And once you enable this, then it's kind of a set it and forget it, and you don't have to worry about it after the fact. But basically, they have their neighborhood rewards, and there's a bunch of restaurants that are in this portal. And of course, if you're in a major city, there's a lot more. Versus something that's maybe not in a major city, there's a lot less in terms of the actual amount of restaurants in here. But there are a lot of my personal local restaurants that take advantage of this. So you enroll in the restaurant rewards, and you get additional 3x back on dining when you go dine at these restaurants. So you do get 6x back total at some of these partner restaurants because you do get the base of 3x back on all dining and then you get an additional 3x back when you do go to these specific restaurants if you do want to enroll in the dining. So in my opinion, that's free points. And there's a lot of common restaurants that you might not expect to be enrolled in this. So definitely check out your neighborhood, see what's around you and see what restaurants you can take advantage of for these additional 3x points. Then the eighth thing you should do is link to your Lyft account. Now this is how I've actually been able to maximize rewards, even as a non-built member, because if you just sign up for the Built Rewards program, link any credit card to your Lyft account, then you get three X built points for every dollar spent through Lyft. But if you are a built credit card holder, then you get an additional two X. So basically what that means is you get five X backs on all Lyft rides, and I believe this is unlimited. So if you do use a lot of Lyft, then you're able to get five X backs per dollar spent through the Built Rewards program, which for me is a no brainer. So that's why I like to use Lyft because the combination of the Chase Sapphire Reserve plus the bill card. You can start to stack all these points and leave a comment down below if you want to get a video on how to stack points because I've been really able to maximize on specific things like something like Lyft where I am able to really stack these points and get almost 7 to 8 X points per dollar spent via Lyft. And then the ninth thing that you should do is just get familiar with the app and all the different rewards that you have because there are different benefits and different partners that come and go. For instance, you can actually redeem your points for fitness classes at a discount. So if you like SoulCycle or maybe there's a local version of that for you that's in there, then definitely take advantage of that if you want to. You can technically also link your account to your Amazon to use your built reward points for Amazon purchases, which I really do not recommend because the value you get there is way worse than what you would get if you transfer out to transfer partners. It's technically something that's there. I did want to bring it to light, but in my opinion, it's not really worth spending your hard-earned points on something like that. But that will just about do it for this video, everybody. As you saw, the build card has a bunch of stuff going for it. It is a rewards program first that just happens to have a credit card. And some people are saying that it has been kind of going down in value a little bit in terms of what you get out of it. There were some better perks when it first started off. But of course, whenever you have a new product and you want to bring in new customers, you're going to make it as enticing as possible. But again, Build has been able to build a huge customer base. So now they can kind of reel in a little bit in terms of how they're incentivizing people to actually sign up for the Build Rewards program. But that being said, there's still a bunch of different perks that I love about 
about the build card and for a zero fee annual card. Again, it costs you nothing to have this card. So to me, if you pay rent, it's a no brainer to apply for this card because you get to earn points for paying your rent on time, which is something you do anyway. And then you get some additional perks after the fact, which allows you to then transfer out those points for better redemption value. And if you want a video on how I redeem our built reward points, because we just stayed at the Park Hyatt in New York City, which is a $1,600 a night hotel. And we were able to do that just because we pay rent on time and in full via the bill card. So definitely let me know if you guys want a video like that one, but that'll do it everybody. If you did enjoy, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end of this video. And let me know what your favorite thing about the bill card is. I will leave my referral down below, which does earn us a couple of points, I believe 10,000 points per referral. So that is highly appreciated if you guys want to use that code. But that'll do it, everybody. If you guys want to watch more videos like this one, definitely click on one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace.